Good morning, friends. It's Father's Day weekend, and I want to wish all fathers a very happy day today, even our fathers in heaven. Wonderful, all of you. Well, in today's video, we're going to do a few things. I'm going out in the garden. Moosey's out there now, so he will be doing a little cameo. He wants to say something today, and I never know what that is. I'm going to show you some of the flowers that are starting to come out in the garden as well, because I've noticed the roses, I think, might be waning a bit. But honestly, some of them grew to be seven feet tall. I'm also gonna do a little cooking. I'm making that three ingredient yogurt cake. I know some of you have seen it before, but I think a lot of new people have joined us since then, and I wanna make it again, besides Moosey wants it. And I have some wonderful news about what we're doing this weekend, especially moi. So stay tuned. If you know, I might even do a little bit of stretching. I have made my smoothie for this morning and I get my greens in here. I put a big handful of spinach along with some blueberries, strawberries, and a little tiny uh, small can of uh, Moosey's Activia yogurt. And it's delicious. And I usually have it somewhere around noontime, one o'clock, because we don't eat any lunch. And uh, we'll have our supper probably about four or five. I was up very early this morning and had a shopping list about this long. I haven't shopped in over a week. So Moosey was still snoring away. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna get up and get out. So I was out of the house before eight this morning. Well, I just had a yen today to make that yogurt cake. It's eight o'clock in the morning and I decided I didn't have what I needed, didn't have the yogurt, I need eggs and a few other things. So I'm on my way down to the grocery market. It's Friday morning and I'm looking up. I think the sun has definitely disappeared from our universe. Haven't seen it in a while. As I was walking around up and down the aisles, I realized I hadn't done much walking or too much awfully uh, intensive exercise. Not that I go and work out in a gym, I don't. But normally I'm pretty busy on my feet most of the day doing something. And you know, when I walk up and down this driveway down to the mailbox or to the gate and back, if I do that two or three times, that will do it. So I'm gonna try and do that. And usually at the end of that, I do some of my stretches and I will show you some of those. My hairdo today is sort of a, um, it's, a it's a working hairdo today because I am doing some laundry, folding of clothes, that type of thing. It's Friday, getting ready for the weekend. And I do have a fun day coming up tomorrow. Debbie, our oldest daughter, it wants to come over and have a me day. We should call it an us day. And you know, I love those days with Dubby because we have, we go in and out of, and I got to be on my toes for this one, probably four, five, six different thrift shops and, and antique shops, usually in Orange County where she lives. But she's coming over here in the morning early at 10 o'clock tomorrow to give Moosey some Father's Day presents and also to sit and visit with him for a while. And then she and I are scooting out for a day. And I'm so looking forward to this. We do have fun. I always come home exhausted, but with a lot of goodies. So stay tuned for the next video, which might come out maybe Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. And I'll tell you all about our day. And on Sunday, we are heading down to Matthews. Finally, we missed last week. We're heading down there and spending um, an afternoon with Matthew, Cindy, and the children, and we're going to have a barbecue. <sighs> Honestly, when I just put on my glasses and I looked in my little mirror here, I noticed that I did not blend some of the highlighter. Well, it wasn't a highlighter. It was something I put in my marionette lines to help them fade away. It was something a little that I had learned a couple of weeks ago and have tried out, haven't done it in a while, so I forgot to blend them in. 
So I hope it's okay now. And I know you all noticed, so <laughs> I just noticed myself. What? Uh-oh, I hear somebody else. Yeah, you know who's coming. He hears me too. Okay, we'll get back to you later. Here's some more mums. These are just, it's mum time. Little mini rose bush is popping, and I have tons of roses coming out on this bush. I think these are so cute. Rosie is in love with this mini dahlia. He thinks it's a very beautiful flower. It is, but I love the, the uh, dinner plate dahlias. The puppies are still popping. Not too many left. I have peppers coming and tomatoes. You know, we went to uh, San Diego for a pre-Father's Day. Oh, it was a wonderful Sunday. We went out to dinner that night, but they had a Father's Day present for me. And what they gave me was this beautiful, old, I'm sure very expensive bottle of port. You and I, Mersey and I love our port. And we used to have it in Scotland after riding lessons. Anyway, they talked about having it with some charcuterie later. Charcuterie. I'm sorry? <laughs> Not cooterie, charcuterie. That's what I meant. I know. But anyway, he had a bottle, and um, the kids were doing these plays, and I was in a recliner, and knocked foot fully out to sleep. I woke up about an hour later, and on the table next to me was a charcuterie plate, the cheese and the crackers, the fruit demolished. Oh no, just half gone. I saved half for you. And there was a glass of port, a little middle snifter. Oh man, I had a sip of it. Oh. I mean, one taste of it, one sip of it, you could chew for five minutes. It is so deep. Anyway, I enjoyed it. And when we were leaving, Mikey came and said, I've put your bottle, I'm gonna put your bottle in the car. And he said, here it is. I said, whoa, what's this? He said, well, that's a cork. I said, well, I thought you had a bottle. Oh, no, he said we drank all your bottle. But it's down to here. So yeah, you, the, mer the moral of the story is don't go to sleep on them or they'll drink <laughs> your booze. It was a delicious little that's what glass happened. of pork. I have, to, I have to preserve this and he's not getting another sip. Uh, am I? Am I? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, good. Because that's the only little, and we have it in our little uh, uh, Austrian Romare glasses. And it's just a little something that is just so good and warms your tummy. It's probably the only kind of uh, alcohol that I really enjoy. Yep. Yep. So we'll look forward to that on Father's Day. And that's my cameo for the next month. Well, I'm sure the ladies are happy to see you. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. God bless you all. I think I'll use this from this side now. Every once in a while, you have to switch hands using this thing. But there is an incline. Right now, I'm going downhill toward the gate. And you can see some of Colleen's new flowers on the way. And I'm at the gate. Usually what I do is turn around and, ooh, a package. Uh, it's for Colleen. My little pal Shamu has followed me. I'll bring Colleen's package up. But as I go, you can see the flowers in the background, I hope. They're so beautiful. Hi, Shamu. 
You coming with Nanny? I've already done this once. When I get up here, I will do some exercises because that's what I really love to do. I'm not wild about the walking. Lucy is watering the garden right now, really. And as you could tell, after all my complaining this morning, the sun is out. So let's do some exercises. I am going to make, for the third time, a very, very delicious cake. Actually, it can be eaten in the morning or for dessert in the evening or lunch or whatever. It's called a three-ingredient yogurt cake. Now, this is made, made with plain Greek, plain Greek non, no, it is a non-fat yogurt. I thought I had bought the fat one, but it's non-fat and I hope it'll work the same. But there's not much sugar in this. This is supposed to be a very, very healthy thing to eat. And by the way, it sounds funny, but it's delicious. And first time I made it, it was a disaster. Instead of cornstarch, I used baking powder for some reason or other, and it was awful. It burned, it tasted horrible, it went right in the trash. Second time I made it, it rose up above the um, pan and it was absolutely gorgeous. So here we go. One and a half cups of Greek yogurt. Now watch me, I'm gonna get it right this time. Corn starch, yes, I'm checking it twice. Five tablespoons of corn starch and I'm going to sift it. So I'm gonna put that in a little bowl right now just so that we can see all the ingredients. And by the way, we are using a six inch spring form pan. Can you see it? Now it really has to be six inches. If you make it with a bigger one like I did, I think I used a nine inch before and it didn't work out. According to the ingredients, it should be a six inch spring form pan. And you can get these on Amazon. They weren't expensive. First, one of my ladies had told me the last time Parchment paper works better if you crumble it. So I crumbled it up, I cut the piece, crumbled it up and put it in, stuffed it down into the pan and then just cut it nicely so it wasn't falling all over. And you crease it as you go and you'll see these wonderful little creases come out on the outside of the yogurt cake. Now I've sprayed it also with some spray. Now that makes it easier to just come right out. So I think we're ready to go. You'll need a whisk. I have a baby whisk and a big whisk. And you'll need this to get the yogurt out into the pan. One of these little, um, whatchamacallit. First thing I'm going to do is put the eggs one at a time and I'm going to use my whisk. Each egg that goes in gets whisked before the next one goes in. You know, I'm really very nervous because I made such a disaster of the first one, which by the way, I did put on the video. And I'm just so afraid I'm gonna do it again. So here we go. I have my four eggs here in the pan ready to go in, one at a time. And these are rather large eggs, so I hope the recipe still holds. Now I'm gonna whisk this in, take my spoon out first, but we'll see how the whisk 
So I already have the one and a half cups of yogurt. Put it in a pitcher. Someone says it's easier to pour if you get it done. And also I had some advice that someone said go side to side with a whisker too. So I'm doing that, okay? Two. You know, maybe my baby whisker would have been better. Just kind of messed up the table a little bit. Now, we're putting cornstarch in. Oh, I did this in the last video. And I have five tablespoons of cornstarch here in this little thing. Now, I am using my mother's little whisker. <laughs> a whisker. <laughs> it's not a whisker, it's a, it's a sifter. And this belonged to my mother. I do have a few utensils left. And as you, as you know, I don't know whether you have one tiny like this, but you just pull this and it whisks. This little thing goes around. So I'm going to do this. Pour it right in now. Look at that. A little tiny sifter. Boy, I remember my mother using these, sifting the flour in the old days. She had a big one too. I don't know why we sift this, but now this time I'm gonna use my little baby whisker. It's nice and creamy. I like the little whisker, it works better. It's not a whisker, it's a whisk. Well, I think that's it. Now I'm gonna clean this up and I'm just gonna pour this into the springboard pan, which is all set up with the parchment paper and the spray. What could be easier, right? Hope I don't live to eat my words. If you ladies have said you've made this and it's absolutely delicious, your hubbies love it and you make it quite often. So here it is. I'm gonna show you the consistency. It's quite nice. It's yellowish from the eggs and I think I did a good job of whisking and here we go pouring right into the pan now it doesn't come quite up to the edge almost but not quite I'm gonna try and get all this out <laughs> this is nanny cooking getting myself all sprayed with yogurt, but that's par for the course for me. There's no sugar, no flour, no oil, no butter in here. Just three ingredients, eggs, yogurt, and cornstarch. You want it to be golden brown. You don't want it to get dark. And hopefully the middle will not be too jelly if you shake it. So it's into the oven, 350 degrees preheated oven, one hour and we will check it to see how it's doing at about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Here it is. Look at, isn't it beautiful? It was a little bit higher when it first came out and now I'm going to transfer it to a plate because it has to go into the refrigerator. And then I will transfer it to my beautiful little cake plate. Remember that tiny, cake plate, the glass one. It looks good. I'm excited. Here it is. Doesn't it look lovely? Beautifully done, golden. Now this is a sweet, tiny little cake. It's not a large cake. See around the edges, the little crinkles that the parchment paper made. Isn't it beautiful? And I love the cake plate. So now I'll put it into the refrigerator when it cools just a little bit. And they say you should want to cool it for a couple of hours before you eat it. We might have this in the morning, not necessarily tonight. I do have some jams. These jams are made by Bonnie up at Bear Hollow. And now she has given these to me from her uh, fruit trees. She cans jams 
makes jams. One is the huckleberry, where they pick the huckleberries out in the woods where the bears are. And the other is from her peach tree. This, I'll probably put some of these jams on in the morning and we might have a nice big slice of this. It, after all, it's yogurt and it's going to be very, very tasty. You have to make it to try it. I'm so glad it turned out. I did it right. I guess it's easy when you use the right ingredients and the right size pan. So try it and I know you'll love it. So I will close this video right here from the kitchen with this beautiful little yogurt cake. Thank you so much for watching. I love your comments. I've, I've read them all. I say this always, but I love it that you comment and watch. And do share this with your parents. All of you enjoy your weekend and I will see you in the next video, probably midweek, Tuesday or Wednesday, and you'll find out all the fun that Debbie and I had on our little day together. And I'm sure we'll be thrifting and antiquing. God bless you all. I love you.